Well, here we are, guys. Welcome to the server. Yeah. This is my quaint little house that has gone through a couple of small iterations, but uh, this is it. This is it. We've got the uh, cobalt stone from mountains, marble brick, and regular gray brick. So, and this is the marble without bricks. Lights on the floors, got all our machines here. Oh, and we got some stuff in it too. It's like a present. So this, this is going to be the start of, well, not the start, this is going to be the pre-start of, of my continued industrial craft series. I've decided that I'm going to do a two series si simultaneously. Um, the first is the vanilla Minecraft 1.0. Let's play. This is Minecraft that I just started doing. I want to put that in here. But also, I want to continue this Industrial Craft 2 Let's Play on the server with my friends. Uh, it's far more interesting to play with other people, especially with all of this nice stuff. So, let's give you a quick tour. Up here is my 140, I think solar panel array yeah 140 Oops. Uh, just a simple design don't need anything special <laughs> bat is jumping over there uh, uh. This is my island. It's a little swamp island. Over there used to be my house before uh, something something very bad happened. Not sure exactly what, but something bad happened, and my house didn't exist after that. So I made a new one over here. If we follow the road. you will see a path that goes down. I don't know where it goes. I'm guessing it goes to um, uh, buh, 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 buh. Dice Star, Dice Star's place. And over here is Badis Place. The Silo. He's got a nuclear reactor setup going on over here. Yeah. Um, also, oh, first of all, uh, I have pretty much a full suit of the quantum suit. Now, I, I got this before my house that is no longer here was destroyed. Uh, I had a pretty nice mass fabricator setup. I, I probably showed you. I can't remember. And I got a lot of uh, iridium plates which is the only thing or rather you need iridium plates to make this set and the only place you can get it is from mass fabrication so uh, that's where I got that and it's just lasted with me for the past couple of weeks which is good holds a lot of power they each do something different uh, today I shall show you the boots wow you have to hold uh, control, but you can jump, and it cushions your fall and lets you jump really high. 
So that's that. Here's my old rubber trees. Here's my old house. Still here, but like there's nothing here. But here we are at the community center. And I've showed you this before, but I, there's some stuff that people can take if they want it. Why not? I've got some extras. Uh, back here, though, is a cool little thing that I don't know how it works. I'm sure it's a mod. Uh, but this is how we get to the red power stuff. The world stuff, like marble and volcanoes, and um, it actually changes the way that the ores are distributed a little bit. Um, so, when we made this world, it did not have build craft nor red power. So, uh, we installed those afterwards, and because of that, we didn't get any of the good stuff. So. All we do is step into this magical portal, and now we are near some fancy materials, and here's the cobalt cobblestone, or I'm sorry, basalt, not cobalt, uh, which is awesome looking, especially when you put it in the brick form, looks Fantastic. Oh, there's a whole like. This is like a really short volcano or something. A really wide volcano, maybe. Let's go take a look. Let us see. <laughs> yep. So this is a, a line of lava here. It goes all the way down. It's kind of cool. Speaking of lava, i got to show you something. We've stopped using the energy. Whoa, okay. That was very glitchy. Anyhow, as I was saying, I was not done showing you the rest of my house. So let's do that right now. All right, down here is basement number one. We've got the wiring for the lights for the upstairs, and we've got lights down here for this as well. This is the incoming chest for my quarry. These are the teleport pipes. And we've just got some boxes full of unsorted goodies. I will be making a sorting system for this like I, I showed you before with diamond pipes and whatnot. Excuse me. And let's see. So yeah, we, we've stopped using energy coupler because it wasn't working with multiplayer very well. And we switched to uh, power crystals power converter. Uh, which is this thing right here. There's no interface or anything, but it accepts EU and turns it into buildcraft energy, as you can see. But this mod is better, in my opinion, because it does a little bit, a little bit more. It, it it helps unite buildcraft and industrial craft a little bit more. For instance, I just realized this looks like a penis with a lava full. Anyhow, this is a lava fabricator. This is a, it was actually kind of expensive to make. Um, I will not be showing you that now, but I will be doing a, a mod spotlight type thing on the power converter in the future, in the quick future. So I'll, I'll show you all about these things. Uh, this is just an MFSU. So this accepts EU. And 
turns it into lava. It's full right now, so it shut off. Uh, this is just a quick little lava tank I set up. And it, it doesn't go very fast. It takes about 12,000 EU units, or EU, to uh, take to make one bucket of lava, which is each one of these lines I think is one or two buckets. So it, it can take a lot of power, but thankfully I'm, I'm creating 140 EU a tick, and this takes, when it's full power, I believe it takes 40 something. So when I turn the engine on, the lava is poured into these two new machines, which are also from power converters. No interface for these either, but they act just like geothermal generators, except that they don't accept buckets. They accept lava pumped directly into them. They're flaming, which means they are generating electricity. And I have the electricity going up to this MFSU. And if we measure this, each one is producing 20 EU a tick, uh, which is actually pretty good. Solar panels only do one. Uh, these are actually not, not too expensive to make. All you need is a tank and a geothermal generator and put them in a, a crafting bench and they'll create one of these. And one, uh, a tank is just a, a block of glass, you know, at, like you were making a chest but with glass. So that's that. Uh, this is a chunk loading block. You should remember what these do. Very important on SMP. Over here is the preliminary wheat farm that I set up. If we go back here, you'll see the water. The red power is just turning them on. And very simple. I was thinking about making a wheat farm that uses bone meal, but I don't have a good supply of bone meal, especially since it's a multiplayer server. Mob darkroom traps don't work very well. Uh, unless everybody's using the same darkroom trap and everybody lights up the area around it fairly well. Then it, then it could work pretty decently, actually. So each one of these uh, geothermal dealies has a reservoir of lava inside of it that is now full and both of them took about that much together combined. This design is not very efficient. I'm actually thinking of redesigning it and I have some thoughts on how to do that much better. In fact, uh, to give you a hint, I think I can just get rid of these glass containers altogether. I just wanted to see the lava work. but yeah, let's see. Let's go down another level. Oh, this is my overflow in case all of the chests are full. Just uh, burn it. Which, uh, not a good idea, but I wanted to reduce lag. We had an incident where uh, these items were just getting stuck right here. And they wouldn't go into the pipes. I don't know what was causing it, but eventually I fixed it so that it wasn't doing that anymore. It has to do with gold pipes. Um, and these. These are the advanced insertion pipes. So, yeah, I don't know. Just having trouble with that. Found a, uh, ironically, a lake of lava. <laughs> After making a lava fabricator. I thought that was funny. So this was my first quarry. It was done very, very quickly, like within 10 minutes, uh, so that was surprising. This was my second quarry, and this is my third oops, quarry, which is almost done. They go so quick, especially with the chunks being loaded all the time.
This takes about 75 EU a tick. So half of my power is going directly into the this quarry. And I like keeping it running non-stop, but when this these chests are full, I won't I won't be running it cuz it'll just burn everything. I don't want that. What I need to do is make my sorter and start putting everything in uh chests that are meant for, you know, cobblestone and you know, sorted. And then anything else I should not burn, but instead recycle. I think that would be a much better choice. But I don't have a mass fabricator. Uh, I lost my nuclear reactor entirely. I had a full nuclear reactor with a full Mark II it was 50 or 60 EU a tick without melting down reactor and oh, oh, it's gone that was freaking expensive I lost all of my like wood stuff so basically I'm, I'm starting out anew which is fine which is fine because I kinda got ahead of the videos to be honest so Whatever. Just have to live with it. Let's see. I think that's about it. Let me check how long this video is. Just getting some supplies together to start a simple project with you guys. This project is not going to be industrial craft or mod related. What I want to do is fix up my little island, make it look nice. Um, I need. I'm going to make some shears and I'm going to collect some vines. Get rid of these trees. I'm going to get the better trees. Uh, I have to go get them, but zebra trees. And I've got some over there chilling. Over there. And I want to put a wall around my island, and I want to light it up somehow. Uh, I don't want to use torches. I'm probably going to make a bunch of green lights and plant them in the grass. And possibly connect them to a bud switch, so that when nighttime comes, they automatically turn on. Sounds interesting. Don't know if I'm going to get it all done today, but, you know, we'll start it. Just want to break, make some bricks. I'm deciding if I want to use smooth stone, because I hardly, hardly ever do. And it looks nice, and I should. Or not. Oh, I just had a good idea, too. Let me get some things together. So let's start here. I need to make some sort of gate. I don't want to keep people out, I just want to keep bad things out. And let's see, I don't know. Uh, I think. Let's try this. It's not too bad. Hmm. I'd like to be able to see over it though. I have a different idea. Let me try this instead. Alright, let's try some iron bars. This might look better, I think. What do you guys think? 
I like that more. I can see through it, but it still blocks. Although things could jump up. And I don't want that. Is that too much? Huh, I don't know. Okay, so I did a line of uh, stone brick all the way around, and then I did the iron fences on top. Now, unless you're in the water here, it is possible to jump onto and on top of my my deal here. So, and spiders will not be hampered. One way to deal with this is to put another block up here, which I will be doing occasionally like this um, here and there just to keep a general light around the perimeter but for the most part I could put glass on top or I could increase the bars to go all the way up Two? I don't know. I'm going to leave it as is for now. Uh, I, give me a suggestion. What do you guys think? How should I finish this fence out? Uh, also, I need to... Let's go get some more bricks. Real quick. Just real quick. We'll just get a couple. A couple here, yeah. And this way, maybe uh, uh, over here, right here. Right here is good. We've got to make a gate going the other way. Oops. Okay. All right. I may or may not put doors here, or even little gates, actually, um, but I'll be thinking about something to put there, especially on this side, because it's wilderness that way, so we don't want none of that. Let's see. So yeah, I like our little place here. My home is nice. And now I feel more secure.
now let's finish this and then I'm going to put some of these into this so I found a nice way to do this oh okay that's fine it was unexpected but that's fine lamp switch turn it on jump out fill hole later on I may put these into a bud switch like I was saying but for the moment uh, I, I really can't right now but I will later I also want to get rid of all these torches except for those torches I want to keep those and let's put it let's put it right here. Oh, yeah, the drills, super drill. Forgot. Get rid of that one. That one. Put one right here. And I'll just finish these real quick. I went ahead and made a couple of blue lights as well. Yeah. Come on now. Dig quicker. Dig quicker. Okay. Oh, that's right. And it just fucking ate it too. Sad face. I'm gonna do this. How am I? Okay. I can go like that. But excuse me. Sorry about that. My allergies are sad. Okay, don't do it. Don't get my light. Don't get it. It's all nice. Okay. All right. Hey. Okay. During the night, that'll look a lot better. Boop, boop, boop. So, let's do this one, and I'll be right with you. Well, here it is. It's not finished, obviously. We still have to plant our trees. And possibly make some tweaks, who knows. What do you guys think? I don't see any bad guys spawning inside, but I'm sure there's a few places where they might be able to sneak in. It's not monster proof, but it's monster resistant. Right? Okay, guys. This is going to be the end of this episode. And I wanted to remind everybody that I will be leaving for vacation starting tomorrow. So, not going to be a whole lot of videos for the next, I'd say, five days. But when I get back, I'll start up once again. Alright, I will see you guys later. Okay guys, it is that time. You know what time I am talking about. We are going to announce the winner of the server contest. Okay, let me find the video real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay, and I'm 
want to go to the video. Alright. Video responses. Uh, we went ahead and took a look at all of these and gave our input. And while it wasn't exactly a um, easy decision, there were a couple of entries that stood out um, to us for the, the qualities that we were looking for. Um, so thank you to everybody that subscribed, even even Hi Boy. Oh, Hi Boy. Um, but it was a unanimous decision, and the winner of the contest is going to be Ron Douglas. Oh. So uh, congratulations to Ron Douglas for his. Uh, Can I push the button again and this time. His, his die roller uh, machine here, um, but it, it it went beyond just just what he produced. It was video quality, um, even though it was a demoed version of Fraps. I believe that he showed very good editing skills by putting that all together, and uh, that's probably even something that I would not be willing to do. So, uh, kudos to you. And it was well presented, and it just stood out slightly more than all of the other videos to us. So um, I am sorry for for the other contestants, but um, don't feel too bad because in the future it's very likely that we will have even more um, contests, or or even just straight up accepting people into uh, into the server outright. Um, but no details yet. That will come at a later date. All right. Well, uh, thanks for entering and thanks for watching. And I hope that this was uh, was a fun contest. So, yeah. All right. Later.